Sherman, how's your homework going? Not well, Mr. Peabody. I have to do my astronomy paper, but the textbook isn't telling me anything. Well, Sherman, how about instead of reading about the stars, I show you instead. Wow, Mr. Peabody, the planets sure are big, especially Jupiter. Very observant, Sherman. Jupiter is a Jovian planet, along with Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Why are they so big, Mr. Peabody? Well, it has to do with their cores. Here, let me show you. As you can see, Sherman, Jovian planet cores are separated into different layers of material. Heaviest at the middle. Metal, then rock, then ice. Now let's compare them to terrestrial planets. The same with Jovian planets. The core is metal, the next layer is rock, otherwise called the mantle. Now there are no layers of ice on terrestrial planets because they are closer to the sun. Wow, Mr. Peabody, that's amazing! Can we check out Pluto? Of course, Sherman. Next stop, Pluto. Wow, Pluto, my favorite planet! Well, Sherman, Pluto is not a planet anymore. But why, Mr. Peabody? Because it has not cleared its orbit. What does that mean? See the planet revolving unhindered in its orbit? Now look at Pluto's orbit. See all the objects in its way? Why are there objects in its way, Mr. Peabody? Because, Sherman, it does not have the gravity to eject objects from its orbit, and that is why it's not a planet. Wow, Mr. Peabody, that's amazing! It sure is cold out here. Can we go somewhere warm now? Of course! Where are we, Mr. Peabody? It sure is hot here. We are on the planet Venus, Sherman. But why is it so hot here, Mr. Peabody? Well, Sherman, Venus has this gas called CO2. On Earth, CO2 is mostly in the rocks and ocean. But on Venus, CO2 is mostly in the atmosphere. What is so important about CO2, Mr. Peabody? Well, Sherman, CO2 is what we call a greenhouse gas. A greenhouse gas traps in heat in the atmosphere, and that is why it's so hot on Venus, Sherman. It's getting hot in here, Mr. Peabody. Can we go somewhere a little less warm? Of course, Sherman. Next stop, Mars! Mars sure is boring, Mr. Peabody, and cold. Why is it so cold, Mr. Peabody? Because Mars has a very thin atmosphere, Sherman. Mars cannot trap heat like Venus, therefore it escapes into space. I heard Mars has water, though, and all I see is a desert. There is water on Mars, Sherman, but all the water is frozen in ice at the pole. Wow, Mr. Peabody, every planet has one extreme or the other. How is Earth so perfect for life? I'll show you, Sherman. As you can see, Sherman, Venus was too hot and Mars was too cold. But Earth is just right. Earth does not have a lot of CO2 in its atmosphere, but it has enough in the atmosphere to keep some heat in and let the rest escape. Earth really is the best of both worlds, Sherman. But we should really be getting back now. You have astronomy homework to finish, Galileo. Who is that? Ugh. I'll save that lesson for another day. Of course!